phony. It's Jimmy Hatz. You owe me that five grand you put down on that broken down filly from the Preakness. Jesus, what a glue factory reject. Anyway, time to pay me or my goons will be stopping by soon. You still need the use of your legs, right? Well, get me my money sooner or else. Um, Mr. Adams, that $8,000 you borrowed from Mr. Cecilia at 145% interest is coming due soon. It is with grave concern that I implore you to keep this debt at the forefront of your mind, as those who do not honor their debt with Mr. Cecilia often befall bouts of very bad luck and various physical ailments. Thank you for your time, sir. Oni, this is your mother. You never call, you never write. Sometimes I wonder if you even know you still have a mother. Anyway, the vig is due on that 15 k you borrowed for that long shot at the Derby last month. I want my money, Pony, or I'll make sure you wish you never came climbing out of my womb. Love you, honey. Hope you're eating well. How's your luck running, Pony? Straight to hell, Merle, like a scalded ape. It's good to see things never change, huh? Yeah, well this thing's gonna change, and it's gonna change today. Yeah, and how's that, Pony? You got some inside information. And how? Have a seat and listen to my tale. Alright, it's not like picking up after you losers is winning me the hearts of any fair maidens. Stuff it, Merle. Let's talk some horses. The story of my sure thing begins the morning of June 6th. You mean yesterday? Yes, Merle, I mean yesterday. Anyway, I received a message from my special lady, Kelly Kozlowski, informing me that once again we were on the outs. Look, Pony, you check bounced last week and I don't fuck on credit. So don't be calling me till you got cash. Bills, Pony, bills. No more checks. Distraught and heartbroken, I decided to find solace in my eternal quest for a winning horse. Settling into the sporting section of the New York Post, my teary eyes immediately wandered upon this golden nugget. Well, I'll be. My thoughts exactly. So how much did you put down? Hold on, Merle. The story ain't done yet. Oh. So. Hungry for a slab of bologna, and pleased with my first sign of luck in my adult life, I headed over to Sal's Butcher Shop on 9th Street. He's got some good kibasa there. Agreed. Hey, Pony, how's it going? Grand, Sal, like a freaking piano. You sound like a man's come into some money today, Pony. How's about something a little more special than your usual pound of bologna? It's about taste, not price, Sal. And yes, I'll have my usual. Thank you very much. Whatever, Pony. Meat's meat, eh? That's when I noticed. Maybe some of this is in your head, Pony. I mean, I just don't see it. Oh, okay, I see it. So now I'm confused, right? I go through life without so much as a wink from Lady Luck, and now she's giving me a hand job. So I head over to Madame Oneida's on 13th. I figure maybe she can shed some light on my predicament. <laughs> Speaking of hand jobs, get it? Palm reading? Hand jobs? Don't knock it, Merle. She's got the sight. So which horse did she decide upon? So you can see my situation, Madam Oneida. I got to know which horse is the right horse, and I thought maybe the spirits could help me out here. Oh, the spirits can always help, Pony. It's just that I prefer to chat with the dead, not the deadbeats. Huh? Cash. Up front, Pony. Last time your check bounced higher than a 50-cent Super Bowl. Oh. Okay. Spirits rejoice. Lend me your voice. Show me the horse that is your choice. I see... I see a horse. Yes. A horse. A very fast horse. Yes. I see a very fast horse. That is all. So which horse was it? 
My, how clever. I hate it when owners think they're being all cute using some of that Abbott and Costello humor. You're preaching to the choir, Merle. I mean, really. Abbott and Costello weren't even that funny. I mean, the Marx Brothers were way better. Okay, Merle, you done? Yeah. Desperate times call for drunken measures, so I head over to Jackie's on 5th Ave where I find Ray attending bar. Hey, Pony, how's it hanging? A little to the left and most definitely the low, Ray. Can I get some low-grade hooch, please? Well, today must be a lucky day. Some might think so. What's up? Our distributor is no longer carrying the really low-end swill that, that you and your ilk seem to like so much. Now I've got to decide upon a suitable replacement. How would you like a taste test? Would I? Hair lip. Yeah. All right. First up, the two-tone Merlot. Mmm. Chewy, yet malleable. Should suit the hoi polloi, yet sophisticated enough for the uptowners. Right. Next up, the Willet Point Chablis. Isn't Willet's Point an industrial park in the Bronx? I think I'll pass on that glow-in-the-dark shit. Okay, strike that one. Finally, we got Winter Whoop-Ass Wine. Hmm, you know, it's still June, and this stuff tastes like kerosene. <laughs> but it will get you fucked up, <laughs> same as the rest. Well, why not just serve kerosene? Too expensive. So two-tone looks like the breakfast of champions, eh? Okay, thanks for your opinion, pony. Motherfucker. All my money on that horse to win, ma'am. You're putting all this money on that long shot, sir? Wow. You'll be rich if you hit that jackpot. Please, 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 please. Oh my, I can't believe what I've just seen. It's the biggest long shot payout in racing history. I would be amazed if anyone had the nerve to pick this horse. Wow, what a race. Woohoo! I'm rich! I won! I won! I won! <sighs> Finally. Wow, Pony! You got so much dough! Let's go to that hotel and do things that just rich people do! Hey, I want to come too! What the? Oh, figures. And then today on the way to the track... Cause the wind rips. A horse named Sue. God damn it. At this point, it's probably better if I just pick a horse from the two that aren't destined to win. Hey, Pony, how's it going? <sighs> it's going bad, like mayo in the sun. Who are you, my conscience? No, Pony, I'm a badly drawn representative of God. Oh. So it seems you're having a problem with luck. Chance, fate, or whatever it is that guides your life. No, I'm having a problem with horses. Or more to the point, I'm having a problem picking a winning horse. Well, Pony, this is an easy one. Just have faith. Faith is a strange thing to ask from a man with God lurking over his shoulder. Hmm. Yes, I suppose it is. Screw it. Just pick Silly Savior in the fifth race. Well... I'll put that in the hat. And there you go. Take it easy, pony. Will do, big guy. And I guess you would be the devil? Nope. I'm your conscience. Oh. Dumbass, of course I'm the devil. So you got a horse for me too, I suppose. You want my soul in exchange? Why would I want your soul, pony? Did God ask you for your soul? 
Just what exactly do you think I do with souls anyway? You think I collect them like baseball cards? No. All I want is a little credit. I mean, really, Satanism is a joke these days. Video game violence, gay marriage, and Skype viruses have all replaced Satanism in the list of man's fears. Plus, it's good to balance out the source of all your potential sure things. Anyway, I digress. Bet on Hell's Bells to win. Will he win? How the hell do I know? Best of luck. Wow. That's some story. So, um... Which horse? Eh, don't ask. Wow. What a waste of my freaking time. Hi, I'm Pony Adams. The short film you've just seen is meant to serve as a reminder that in life, just as in horse racing, there are no sure things. So, um, that's it. Ooh, deep. Jesus, Pony, will you give her the rest and just end this thing? <laughs>